Uh, hello good people. Mkwaje. I hope and believe kila mtu wako poa. Uh, this is Ernest Masharia your accountant. Uh, karibuni sana in today's session. Uh, Tunazidi kuendelea na our topic that is to do with taxation. And uh, kama ndio mara yako ya kwanza kujiunga nasi I believe this is our fourth reason about this and uh, kindly rudi nyuma watch all the content diweze kuelewa ni nini tunaongelea kuhusu in this session so kama uja subscribe kindly remember to subscribe remember to like remember to share to as many people as possible so that uh, we can also grow the channel and uh, we can reach as many people as possible so today i have prepared something very good very nice i remember last time when we met uh, we agreed we shall uh, be looking on uh, income tax that is to do with the individual because uh, last time we somehow discussed the income tax of the corporates so today we are discussing income tax for the individuals so have a notebook have a pen and uh, i know after the end of this session you will have at least rant something that will help you in future so what is this income income tax for the individual so under this every kenyan who has a kra pin number they have this obligation of resident individual income tax so kama uko pale umechukua KRA pin number make sure you uangalie what's your obligation kama umewekewa the individual income tax ama umewekewa obligation gani so a lot of people when you wanachukua anga KRA pin numbers huwa wanawekewa the resident individual income tax so what is this income tax for the individual it is a tax charged for each year of income on or the income of a person whether resident or non resident which accrued in or was derived from Kenya so it's not necessarily for the resident peke yake there are those people who are non resident but they pay this income tax so it's for every kenyan be it resident or non resident and under this income tax there are two categories there are those who are employed and there are those who are not employed when you tunaita juakari or self employed mtu wako na biashara yake anafanya vitu zake and he or she is earning an income so first we shall look the income tax for the employed people because this is the most crucial one hii ingine ya wenye self employed it's just automatic so you will file it at the end of the year you will declare your income that you've generated at that particular financial year you will deduct your expenses if there may uh, there may be then 
the net income will be charged uh, at a rate of 30% and the liability that will emerge that is what you should pay to the KRA so for the employed people it's very different why because most of them they pay this income tax as they earn so that's what we call pay as you earn so this pay as you earn or pay as many people call it is a system of tax correction whereby employers are required to deduct tax from the employment income of their employees and re remit the tax to the KRA. So, Wajiri, they have to remit a certain uh, percentage of the income or the salary of the employee, then pay it to KRA at every month. That is what we call PSU1. So, to calculate the taxable employment income, what is this taxable employee, uh, employment income that we are talking about? These are forms of cash payments and non-cash benefits exceedingly 3,000 Kenya shillings per month and it comprises of 1. Salary 2. Sick pay 3. Rive pay 4. Fees 5. Commissions 6. Bonuses and many more so uh, those are just a few so kama wewe unaan hizo your employer anakulipa hizo they are subjected to PS1 how do you determine if you are eligible eligibility for PE entity paying emoluments to employees is required to register for PS1 upon registering they must deduct tax from employees earnings and remit to KRA so kama uko na wafanya kazi uko pale uko na biashara umeajiri watu uko na kampuni if you pay those people salary you are required by law to register for PS1 obligation so that you will be in a position to remit the tax and pay to KRA. And remember, this PS1 is remitted by the employer, not by the employee. So the employer is the one who is mandated to register for. PSU1 under the obligation of income tax. So, if you are there and you are an employer, make arrangements and register for the same. What are the rates of the PSU1? So, these rates range from 10% to 35%. So, the smallest rate that you can be charged is 10%. And the highest is 35% as per the Finance Act 2023. So they keep on revising these rates. But there has never been higher of 10%, sorry, 35% and less than 10%. So these rates apply to different income 
burns and were effective from 1st July 2023. So this income burns are there in the KRA website. You can visit and try to understand which are these bonds that are charged 10% to 35%. So that's homework I'm leaving for you. Fika hapo KRA poto. Angalia the bonds. And remember, uh, to understand and to get it right on who is supposed to pay pay and who is not supposed to pay pay so what is the due date of paying this PSU1 employers must deduct PSU1 from employees earnings and remitted to KRA by the ninth day of the following month so the deadline is always on the ninth of the following month so right right, right now we are on the month of uh, october so the ps1 for the month of october should be paid on or before 9th november to avoid any penalties accruing or interests accruing so always make arrangements you have remitted you have filed and you have paid because all those three have different types of penalties so which are these allowable deductions on your taxable income arable deductions on your taxable income so employees can make deductions from their earnings including mortgage interest so kama we una ripia mortgage and pension contributions to arrive at the taxable amount so you can deduct this to arrive on taxable amount and remember pensions contribution it's like uh, those who are uh, registered with nssf and other uh, maybe retirement benefits ukopare and i know every employees is like mandatory to register for nssf so hiyo pia utatoa kwa your deductions or your income so that you will be in a position to determine the taxable income for the period then penalties if you 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 have been firing your returns rate unacherewa ku file penalty is the higher of 25% of the tax due all 10 thousand whichever is higher so uko pale umekuwa ukifile your returns rate you will be charged 25% of your tax due or 10000 whichever is higher and if you pay the tax or ps1 rate 
a penalty of 5% of the tax due is imposed and additional rate payment interest of 1% per month or part of a month in, is charged on the unpaid tax until it is settled. So here 1% itakuwa ina grow mpaka siku utalipa the liability so ukichelewa kulipa utachajiwa 5% of the tax due in additionary 1% itakuwa ina grow on the principal amount so penalty number 3 penalty for failure to deduct and account for tax the penalty amount is to be charged at 25% of the tax involved or Kenya shillings 10000 whichever is higher so if you fail to deduct an account or pay for the same you will be liable to be charged a penalty of 25% of the tax or the or 10000 Kenya shillings whichever is higher so and remember when firing this every Kenyan or taxpayer is given a relief of 28800 per annum or 2400 per month so that relief will at least uh, easy is or reduce the amount of PS1 that you are supposed to pay at a particular given period so to file your return for employment you need to ask your employer to provide you with a P9 form so this is a form that will have all your details all your total incomes and the deductions and it will outline the tax that has been paid for that particular period so it will make your work very easier for reconciliation purposes so whenever you need to file this uh, pay, uh, income tax at the end of the year always ask for the p9 from the employer so if you don't have any income you are required to file any returns at this price to every kenyan with a kra pin number with an obligation of resident or non resident individual income tax so kama uko pale uko na kra pin na hujako ukifile easy income tax returns at every financial year make sure you file kwa sababu ina accrue penalties ukikosa kufile so rate filing for this is to a uh, is 2000 and rate payment it depends with the amount of tax that you are supposed to pay so that is when filing the income tax when filing the ps1 return you are required to include the affordable housing levy on the excel sheet as well as the nita levy so what is this affordable housing levy this is a contribution made to affordable housing that was introduced by the government which is charged at the rate of 1.5% 
of your gross income and also the employees enjoys a 1.5% relief of the same uh, housing levy so ukitorewa ile housing levy ya 1.5% make sure pia employer anakupatia the 1.5% relief of the same so for nita 50 bob is charged per head even if you don't pay pay it is mandatory so nita haihitaji uko unalipa pay as well as the housing levy apana those two are, ma are mandatory and for the housing levy it's charged on the gross and for the nita it's charged per head per employer per employee sorry so employee will pay the 50 shillings for every employee and for the housing levy before i forget the employer also will contribute the same amount uh, that uh, the employee is contributing so these two nita the housing levy should reduce your taxable income because these two are taxes and you can't tax the uh, a tax so when calculating your taxable income you consider the two that will reduce your income tax so for clarifications every kenyan employed or not employed make sure you file your income individual tax returns and this applies to everybody when you are gonna carry pin number make sure you file your returns on time and if you don't have any income because i've seen a lot of people ask uh, saying mimi si jajiriwa it uh, you are not required necessarily to be employed what you only need is just to have that kra with that obligation and from there it is mandatory to file your returns so kama una income you are required to file nil return so up to there i think nimeweza kuguzia the main areas on the income tax for the individual if you have you may have any question leave it at the comment section i will try as much as possible to answer you and i wish you all the best and thank you very much for your time remember to subscribe remember to watch remember to share let me meet again here tuangalie kitu inaitwa excise duty so what is excise duty